Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Educator.com. I'm Dan Fullerton, and today we're going to talk about electric potential and electric potential energy. Our objectives include determining the electric potential in the vicinity of one or more point charges, calculating the electrical work done on a charge, determining the direction and approximate magnitude of the electric field at various positions given a sketch of equipotentials, calculating the electrostatic potential energy of a system of two or more point charges, and finally stating the relationship between electric field and electric potential. As we get into this one, please understand electric potential is one of the more one of the trickier concepts as we're talking about electricity and magnetism. It's not one that typically makes a whole lot of intuitive sense, at least the first couple times you've seen it. So some of this may feel a little bit nebulous and cloudy as you go through it the first time. That's not unusual at all. All right, electric potential energy. Let's start there. When an object was lifted against gravity by applying a force for some distance, we had to do work to give that object gravitational potential energy. When a charged object is moved against an electric field by applying a force for some distance, we also have to do work to give that object electric potential energy. The work done per unit charge in moving a charge between two points in an electric field is a scalar known as the electric potential. More often times you'll hear that referred to um, rather informally as voltage. The units are known as volts where one volt is a joule per coulomb. And the work done is equal to the change in the object's electric potential energy, which we're going to symbol symbolize capital U for potential energy and E for electrical, where the electrical potential energy is the charge times the electric potential V. All right, so taking a look at charge from work. A potential difference of 10 volts exists between two points A and B in an electric field. What is the magnitude of charge that requires 2 times 10 to the minus 2 joules of work to move it from A to B? Well, we have a potential difference between A and B of 10 volts. We don't know charge, but we do know that the work done in moving it from A to B was 2 times 10 to the minus 2 joules. So work going from A to B equals Q times electric potential. Therefore, our charge Q is the work done divided by that electric potential, which is 2 times 10 to the minus 2 joules divided by 10 volts. Or charge is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 3 coulombs pretty straightforward problem to start us off. Let's take a look at electric energy. How much electrical energy is required to move a 4 microcoulomb charge through a potential difference of 36 volts? Well, now we're looking for electric potential energy. We know our charge is 4 microcoulombs, or 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, and our potential difference is 36 volts. So U equals QV, which is 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs times 36 volts, which gives us electric potential energy of 1.44 times 10 to the minus 4 joules. Another straightforward starter sort of problem.